What's up, Amazon sellers? Maybe you are just starting on Amazon and you've heard about this thing called Keeper. Well, don't worry today. I'm going to go through how to use Keeper. And in particular today, we're going to be focusing on the free version of Keeper and how to get the most out of it. So stay tuned. If you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I have been selling now on Amazon for about four years and I'm on a mission to do one million pounds. I'll drop a link just up there. Now, quite simply, as part of my business to do one million pound, I sell doing online arbitrage and a fundamental part of doing online arbitrage is understanding what's going on with the products you're going to buy. Now, to do that, I use a tool called Keeper. And today I'm going to be going through everything about Keeper, as you say, the free version of it, how to use it. And this is part of a two part mini series. Today is going to be the introduction to it. And then the second part is going to be tips, tricks and hacks make it nearly as good as the paid for version and I'll show you why. So let's get into it now. I'll talk you through what I'm going to do, what we're going to talk about, and then we'll get into the actual content. Number one, I'm going to talk about what is Keeper and go through that. Number two, I am going to talk about why you should be using Keeper. Number three, I'm going to talk about how to install Keeper. Number four, I'm going to talk about all the different parts of Keeper and how to use them in your Amazon business. So stay tuned. Okay, so first things first, you are probably asking, what is Keeper? Well, quite simply, Keeper is a software tool. It's a Chrome extension that's used on we say Google Chrome. Now, quite simply, what it does, it sits there and it does two things. Number one, it shows you information that Keeper has collected about Amazon products and it pretty much displays them on a graph. And we'll talk through that graph, what it all means and how you can read it, understand it, learn from it to make much better buying decisions. And then number two, what does it also do? It also collects information from the web pages you view. And in particular, we are talking about the Amazon web pages. So not only does it show you the information, it also collects information such as buy box price, sellers, etc., etc. Everything that you see on the graph, you will see that it collects from the Chrome extension. So two things, shows you and collects data. Okay, so one of the questions you might be asking is why? Why should I use Keeper? Maybe I've got a, a calculator tool, I've got all these other tools, why Keeper? Well, quite simply is Keeper is a great record taker. It tells you what has happened about to a product in the past. Now, quite simply, if you understand what has happened in the past, you can make a very, very good guess of what's going to happen in the future. To give you a good example, if you're looking at a Keeper graph and you can see historically, the price has always been $10 or £10, but one or two times in the past it's peaked up to 20 and then come straight back down again, maybe twice. And then today you look at that price and you see it's $20 or £20. If you had to guess what the price might be going forward in the future, you probably guess it's going to go back down to $10 or £10. If you are looking at that in isolation, i.e. just the $20, you might think, well, hey, I have found an amazing product. I'm going to make so much money. Buy, 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 buy. But by having a tool like Keeper, understanding what has happened in the past and understanding it has gone to 20 before, but it's always gone back down to 10 and 10 is a normal price it sells for, then you're going to go, whoa, don't buy, don't buy, don't buy. Now it's having that information, that knowledge at your fingertips, which allows you to make a much better buying decision, a much better analysis of a deal. And as a result, it means you are going to be more profitable more times or more cases. And that is going to be super important for you driving your business forward, finding profitable deals and hey, making money on Amazon. That is what we want. Now, the one thing which I would say is this video is going to be very much around the free version of Keeper using the free version of Keeper. So this isn't paying for the subscription. Now, don't get me wrong, I do use the paid for version of Keeper and I'll show you a couple of nuances or differences. But quite simply, I do think Keeper is one of those tools that is worth buying. So yes, you can use the free version of Keeper. And yes, we are only going to go through the free version and talk through that and show you how to use it to the best of your ability. But still, out of all the tools I recommend you buy, I would actually recommend Keeper is one of them. So we'll go through the free version today. We'll talk through it all. But just keep in mind that actually it's a really good tool. It's worth paying for. Right, okay, so now we are going to go through how to install Keeper and I'll jump on the laptop and show you that. So quite simply, first things first, you just want to come into Google and search Keeper. Really, really simple. And you know what? It's not the first one, which is the Keeper website. Second one down here, you can jump straight onto their Google Chrome 
Chrome extension. Uh, obviously in the Chrome web store, obviously you've got me, here's me. So quite simply now, what we can do is click add to Chrome. That's what we want to do, just click add to Chrome and it's gonna ask us you know, some for some permissions. So we're gonna say yes, add extension, because that's what we can do. So quite simply, that is now gonna be added. Now, the interesting thing is what's gonna happen is whenever you go to, let's say for example, I looked at a Rode wireless mic, obviously it's on my YouTube, and whenever you come into Amazon, what's gonna happen is normally it's gonna load up as normal. And then as you scroll down a little bit, what you're gonna see is this just load up here and it's gonna pop up and that is gonna be Keeper installed. And also as well, if you look up here in the, uh, I should say the extensions, it's like a puzzle. If you click up there, what you will actually see is Keeper installed there. So that is gonna just show you that Keeper is installed. Okay, so now the question is how to use Keeper and how to read it. So quite simply, I'm gonna jump on the PC again and we'll go through that graph and I'll explain it all to you and what it all means. So let's scroll down now. So quite simply, we're gonna come down to the graph. Now, if I kind of zoom in just to make it life easier, the one thing I will say is I'm not logged in, I don't have a registered account. So this is basically just using the free unpaid for version. So what can we see straight away? Well, if I just kind of turn some things off, quite simply, you've got this box. This box might seem a bit confusing to start with, but what is it? it basically on the left-hand side, it tells you price. And just to notice, it does zoom in. So it starts at four pounds, it doesn't start at seven pounds. And then along the bottom, we have got dates. So it's time along the bottom. And we will actually use a graph on the right, maybe at some point in the paid version, but right now, don't worry too much about that. Now, quite simply, what are we looking at? Well, at the moment, on the right-hand side, we've got these dots. And they're quite simply just telling you about you know, things that you can turn on and turn off. And at the moment, I've turned everything off with the exception of Amazon. So what am I doing? I'm just showing the Amazon information. Now remember, Keeper stores information and it tells you what that information is back via the graph. So what it's telling us is, let's say for example, if I hover here, and you can see it tells me a price. So £4.12 at what date? Tuesday, September the 22nd at 11.22. So Keeper saw that price on an Amazon web page at that time. And then you can scroll across or keep moving across. And again, on the 30th, we can see Amazon's price is £4.12 on September the 30th. Now, the one thing to consider, you can see here, we've got a gap and then we've got Amazon there again, £4.12, October the 19th. Now, quite simply, whenever there is a gap, it means that person, they are no longer on that listing. Now, generally speaking, it'll be Amazon will have the big gaps because it means they come on as a seller, they sell out and then they come off and there's a gap when they're not selling and then obviously when they come back in again. But quite simply, what are we looking at now? We're just looking at what the price is over time. That is it, really simple. So we can see here, Amazon was on the listing at £4.12. They came off the listing, then they came back on the listing at £4.12 and then they came off the listing and then they jumped back in again at £5.50. So that's Amazon price and you can see that there. Now, the next one I'll turn on is new price. You can see this with um, turning that on. And again, it's exactly the same, £4.12 over time, at different times. But you can see this is the blue line now and it goes up, you can say up. So on the 8th of October, it was £6.49. And then again, on Sunday the 11th, it was 9 95 So again, all you are doing is you are watching what that price is over time and the movement of that price. So we can see here that when Amazon wasn't on the listing, i.e. there's no orange shaded area, which is Amazon on the listing, the actual price is 9.95. But the moment Amazon came back on again, the new price was £4.12. Now, the one thing I should say about new price is the new price is the cheapest price you can buy this product for on the listing as new without delivery. So quite simply, we can say here, Amazon is the cheapest price, so they are that they are set at the new price, i.e. it records what the cheapest price is. Think about that. So the cheapest price to buy this as new is Amazon, £4.12 on October the 2nd, and hence the new price is £4.12. But the moment Amazon's come off, Amazon are no longer on the listing, so the cheapest price you can buy it at on October the 12th is £9.95. Come across again, Amazon drops down. Again, Amazon's now the cheapest price. They are the, their price is going to be the new price, £4.12. So just be mindful of that. And you can see here, there's a gap in the new price. That means there's no sellers. There's no one selling this product as new on that listing between that times. 
So then you can follow it across, nice and simple, down, Amazon drops in, and then obviously up again. And then for some reason, it dropped down again, but there's no Amazon. And then finally, obviously it goes back up to 990. Now what we should see is that today's price is about £9.90. So if we kind of come up, I just open up the sellers. What are we going to see? So we've got here 995 Global Beauty Store UK. And the last time keep it updated, it was set right here. Sometimes it's hard to get in. So 990. So it's probably just gone up 5p since the keeper last took that metric, and that'll probably update soon. So quite simply, you can see that Keeper is recording that price over time and pretty much aligned with what you see now. 995 is Global Beauty Store, they are the cheapest seller. So that is the new price. So the next one we've got is sales rank. Now, unfortunately you can't turn sales rank on, but I'm gonna give you a hack for that in my next video. So make sure you watch that one. Number two, you've got list price. This is the price that is, should we say, list, i.e. manufacturer recommended price. That is the list price. Disregard it, literally doesn't mean anything. It's like, what should they sell it at? Really don't worry. You've also as well, interesting enough, you've got third party FBM, so fulfillment by merchant. So again, these are slightly different. This isn't a line, these are sample points, i.e. they take a sample, they record it at a time. So you can see here, at this date, we've got September the 28th, we've got FBM, there's an FBM seller selling it for £6.47. And then again, up here, this is 9.95. We've even got an FBM seller up here. So you've got here a new seller at 9.95, and you've got the FBM seller at 14.08. Why is there a difference? Quite simply because the price to buy the product is 9.95, but when you include the delivery, the total price including delivery for the FBM seller is 14.08. So that difference between 9.95 and 14.08 is a delivery fee. So you just be aware of that. Now, quite simply, you can come along here and see different FBM sellers coming on. So there were different, different FBM sellers on the listing. And obviously you can see what their price is because that will be the variance between the new price and the FBM price if they are, if there's no FBM. So also as well, one other good tip you can do is you can actually click on the, the blue dot and you can see who that person is. So again, Global Beauty Store, who are they, what their price is. And you can see that, that's really useful just to know. Now you can go across. Now the next one we've got is new third party FBA. And now I really like this. It shows you the FBA seller price. And again, you can see here, this is gonna include delivery. So this is the total price. And again, you can click on it and see who they are, number of reviews, what their price is, et cetera, et cetera. So really, really useful there, just seeing that information. So you can see FBM and FBA. The next one is buy box. And unfortunately you can't see that. That is for paid for version. Now, the final thing which I'll kind of touch upon is quite simply is this is right now, by default, Keeper always shows you the last three months of data. Now that is really good. That's a really good snapshot to look at three months worth of data we really like. But down here you have controls. What you can do is you can change it from day, week, month, three months, year, all time. So say for example, you might wanna have a quick look at year and I'm a big believer in just going out to a year really quick. For example, right now we are in December and last month's sales or the last three months are going to be a lot more than what is going to happen in January. So because January isn't December and Christmas presents don't sell as well. So quite simply, I'll always look at the year to see what's happened. And if I'm buying products that I'm expecting to sell in January, I'm probably going to look back at last January to see what happened. So looking at year is going to be really important. And then also as well, maybe just having a quick look at the all time, seeing what's gone on with this product over time. Has it crashed sometimes in price? Are you gone really low or has it gone really high? Really, really useful there. The other one you can do if you want to is quite simply is just select a set period of time. Literally, I'm holding down the mouse and then it will zoom into that period. And it doesn't even have to be today. It can be in the past. So that is pretty much going through all the different points on the Keeper chart, looking at the Keeper chart, and explaining all the different parts to it. So the other thing which you might want to look at is you know, statistics. They just make doing the analysis easier. Unfortunately, the sales rank information is all hidden. That's locked away. But you can look at the statistics. So you might have an idea here. Say, for example, you just want to get a feel for what's going on in the current price, the average price at Amazon, and maybe the average price in new price. That's going to let you know. Now, the one thing which I will add and just make you aware of is the new price on here. So we talked about it here, this blue line, the new price. So the one thing which I just say be really careful of is that the blue line, which is the new line on the graph, this is the cheapest price you can buy it for. 
doesn't necessarily mean it's the price on the buy box. Now the buy box is where 90% of all the sales happen, but the cheapest price doesn't necessarily mean that is the price on the buy box. They are different. And if you want to see some more information about understanding the buy box and how it works, I'll drop a link to a video up there. That's going to really help you. But quite simply, just be mindful the new price is the cheapest price, not necessarily the price that gets the majority of the sales. And things like FBM versus FBA, that's going to have an impact on it and also your metrics. Now, if you are interested in learning about FBM versus FBA, have a look to a video up here. I'll drop that for you. That's going to help you understand a bit more about that. Okay, so that is a little bit about the free version of Keeper. Now, I will say the free version of Keeper is great, but I would also recommend the paid for version. It's one of those top tools that pretty much everyone says you need. Okay, so that is everything for me. If you like that content, give me a thumbs up. And what I'll say is hit that subscribe button to get notified of the next videos coming out. And what I will say is if you've got any questions, drop them down below. I answer every single one of them. But I will drop a link around here to the next free version of Keeper tips, tricks, and hacks. It's going to really up your game on that free version of Keeper. But for me, Thomas Parkinson and Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.